What's going on, y'all? It's Claude. You're checking me out again at Mostly Healthy Food Reviews. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? I got that one quick question before we get started, right? Did you miss me? Did you miss me? <laughs> Once again, I do it for the family, the foodie family. I do it for the kids. I do it for everybody that follows me. And I just want to basically say thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of the heart for everything that you guys continue to do as far as supporting me, my channel, my brand, and my level of madness sometimes. So, today's Friday. And I wanted to basically just start our weekend this weekend with something different. I'm in Bridgeport, Connecticut. I'm actually going to drop the address of the video on this one also. However, I'm on Madison Avenue in my neighborhood, believe it or not. And I wanted to try a place that I've never had for a food type that I never really eat. So with that being said, I'm going to swing over to Mystic. This is their authentic or authentic Peruvian Cuisine. This is a Peruvian restaurant actually in my area, Bridgeport, Connecticut. And I want to find out is the food as good as a lot of the neighbors and people are saying it is. I do a lot of my videos by word of mouth. So I listen to when people tell me things are actually good or not. And I want to find out because I'm hearing some great things about Mystic. In either case, enough talking. It's lunchtime. I'm hungry. Let's get started. Just like I do. Mostly healthy food reviews.
ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. That's Mystic Peruvian Restaurant located here in Bridgeport, Connecticut. And like I said, I dropped the address in the video for you guys if you're in the area and you want to check them out. Fun fact, this is actually my neighborhood. This is actually where I live. So I wanted to come out, show a little support to an establishment that's been there for a while. And I pass by literally every day, but I never find time to stop. However, I wanted to find time today. And that's what it is. Had a passion fruit juice. And that's all it was, passion fruit, very, very flavorful. And I love tropical fruits. I love things like passion fruit and guava and mango, papaya, you name it. So this one is right up my alley. Loved it, I would definitely get it again. One thing I had next is the rice. I actually have never had Peruvian rice before. This rice actually has uh, peppers. Uh, red peppers, uh, basically sauteed red peppers, onions, and um, a lot of flavor, a lot of flavor. The rice is actually very fluffy and it was very good. So it's one of those rices that you definitely would want to come back and get again. And I'm going to get home later on to finish this one. I got a small, and as you see, it's just enough for one person. So up next, the tacos. I actually did go with pollo. Pollo is chicken, guys, and I expected this chicken to be a lot more than what it was. Truthfully, the chicken itself was very dry. It didn't have a lot of flavor to it, but somebody kind of threw it on the grill, and there was no sasson, there was no adobo, there was no foot in this one. It was just chicken. Kind of threw chicken on the grill, threw it on my, on my soft shell tortillas, which were actually grilled also, and it was interesting. Never had them like that before but they were just bland to me. They didn't have any flavor at all. And truthfully, even when I tried to eat one of the peppers out of it because I wanted some kind of flavor on the tip of my tongue, I got none. I honestly got none. For $3.50 for two tacos, total waste, I wouldn't get them again. Last but not least, I actually had the cerveche. And I'm gonna explain what that is the best of my ability. Basically like a brothy kind of consistency, except this was really watery. I'm not sure if it was supposed to be this watery. Tons of veggies in this one, with lima beans. And they were like hard lima beans that when you bite them to them, you actually get a crunch. They were good. For the cerveche, it actually comes with corn. I got lima beans, red onions. It looked like a little potato. And honestly, the, the, the fish, and it was just, the, the cilantro just, mm, just if, you, if you're a fan of cilantro or you're a fan, believe it or not, of cold salad in the summertime, this is perfect. This is exactly what my taste buds needed after missing them on the tacos that I just had, which I thought would have been a lot better. If anybody is watching me and you guys are Peruvian or Ecuadorian and you know the history behind cerveche, let me know what you think. Let me know if you like it, what you put in yours. This was actually really, really good. And it was my first time having it. So I'm definitely gonna get this again. They give you little bite-sized pieces of fish and oh man, this was good. So what did I think of Mystic, Peruvian and Ecuadorian restaurant here in Bridgeport, Connecticut? First things first, the passion fruit juice. I'm going with a nine on the juice. Straight nine, straight banger. I would definitely get it again, straight like that. The rice, that's a solid eight, solid eight. It's nothing special. Like there's nothing that stands out in the rice itself. It is rice that I would get again. However, it's not the best rice I've ever had. It was just rice. Tacos. Now, nah, miss me with them. They're basically a conglomeration of a bunch of things that really could have mattered, but didn't. There was no reason for me to get that taco side at all and pay the 350. Honestly, it was a waste of my money. I got no flavor on the chicken. I got nothing as far as the shell itself. Nothing to write home about. I would honestly say that it was probably forgettable. Mystic, you guys gotta do better than this one. Honestly, you gotta do better. So that's that's what it is. It's a three on those. The ceviche from the seasonings to the way the fish danced around in the broth to the surprisingly crunchy lima beans to the red onion 
to the cilantro. Tons of cilantro. One of my favorite seasonings, hands down. It was actually a piece of sweet potato. That's what you were looking at when I kept showing it. And it was this piece of sweet potato. So basically, I got salty and sweet in a cold salad and the fish was phenomenal the fish was really really good seasonings just meshed well everything meshed well my only problem with this dish is that it is messy so i would recommend you sit down at a table not in the car where you can make a bunch of messes and enjoy this a big pond would be good guys i would like some bread with mine so I could actually soak it up a little bit, I think. But in either case, very, very good. Very surprising. I definitely will get it again. I'm going with a straight 10 on this fish survey set. This was, oh, this was good. Give me one second. Okay. I just had to pay homage <laughs> to the survey. This was good stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like the videos that I do, do me a favor, click subscribe, turn notifications on. That way you get the videos when I drop them. Mondays, Fridays, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard. And during the week as time permits, usually Wednesdays or Thursdays. And once again, this is Claude, mostly healthy food reviews. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Newsbreak. I'm on all social media platforms. If there's a health bonus to my food, it's an added bonus. Mystic Peruvian and Ecuadorian restaurant. Very, very good flavors in most of your foods. Not all. And that's the reason why I do these videos. I will also say that the service was in incredible. The young lady that took care of me at the counter, I didn't get her name, but she was very thorough, very patient. And as you guys probably can tell, my Spanish isn't that good. So thank you for taking care of me. And thanks for being patient. I appreciate it. In any case, y'all be cool on the other side of the pillow. Let me take off. I'll talk to y'all next time.